Developing overnight, the House has approved the debt agreement to suspend the nation's debt limit. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said from the jump, the Senate will take up this bill as soon as possible. In fact, he's told senators to prepare to vote over the weekend. Now, the U.S. Treasury sa uh, says the bill needs to get to President Biden's desk by Monday, June 5th, to avoid a default. The bill, which was negotiated between the White House and House Republicans, will cap federal spending. It takes back money from the IRS. It tightens eligibility for food stamp programs, and it loosens some environmental rules. Now, here's a look at where Oregon representatives stand when it comes to the debt limit bill. Four of Oregon's representatives approved it. Two voted against it yesterday. Those were representatives Suzanne Bonamici and Val Hoyle. In a statement, Bonamici wrote in part, I could not in good conscience vote for a plan to lift the debt ceiling that would harm some of the most vulnerable people in our country. In support of her vote for the measure, Representative Andrea Salinas wrote, a default would have jeopardized the hard-earned benefits, livelihoods, and life savings of tens of thousands of Oregonians in the 6th District. A Washington 3rd District Representative Marie Glusenkamp-Perez voted to approve the bill.